I'm Ryan from ExtremeTerrain.com, and in this episode of Jeep News, we're going to talk about all of the latest information that's leaked about the 2018 JL. Getting right into it, we have a little bit of confirmation about some of the engine options that are going to be available. We have a two liter turbocharged engine, and that's going to have a belt starter generator. For those of you who don't know what that is, it'll take the alternator, which is normally just a generator, swap it out with a generator slash motor, and that motor is going to be used to help get you off the line using a little bit less fuel, help out with fuel economy, and it's also used in those vehicles that turn the engine off at stoplights and start it again when you get going. Not to say that the JL is going to have that feature, but it will have that belt starter generator to improve fuel economy just a little bit more. The second engine option you're going to have is a 3 liter V6 turbo diesel. I know we've been waiting for a turbo diesel option for a long time now. Very happy to see that we're finally getting it. That should give us a ton of low end torque, especially when we're spinning big tires off-road. However, it's not yet known how much that engine option is going to bring you up above the base cost. Finally, you still have the option for a 3.6 liter V6, just like what we have in the current model year JK. Sitting directly behind that engine, you're going to have the option for either a six-speed manual transmission or an eight-speed automatic. Again, that eight-speed auto is all about keeping you in the power band, but also keeping you in the most efficient area of the RPM range. That's going to give you the best fuel economy, which was a big consideration when they were building the JL, making sure this thing is as efficient as possible. In the Sahara models, you're going to have the option for an all-time four-wheel drive transfer case that has a 2.72 to 1 gear ratio. That's going to be really nice for those of you who spend a lot of time driving on snowy or icy roads, where a full-time four-wheel drive system can make things a little bit squirrely. Having that all-time four-wheel drive put power to exactly where it's needed will be really nice. Of course, you're also still going to have an option on the Rubicon for the Ruby Track system, which is going to be a 4 to 1 ratio, giving you a little bit better crawling ratio. Now getting away from the drivetrain a little bit, we also have some new information about the top. You are going to be able to get a power black soft top, which is going to be really interesting to see how that's implemented on the new JL, how it looks and also how it functions. If you're not interested in that, you can get a tan soft top, which previously wasn't an option from the factory. So that's going to look really good with some of those new colors that are coming out on the 2018 JL. We also got some information about the LED lighting package. Now, in the current system, the way it's laid out, it looks like the LED lighting package is available as an option on the Sahara and on the Rubicon, but not on the Sport. So what that's leading us to believe is it may be an LED lighting package for some additional lights and that the headlights and the fog lights are going to be standard across all trim packages. Currently, the LED lighting option is an option for the Sport only. The Rubicons and the Saharas get those headlights and fog lights as a standard feature. Coming up in the JL, it looks like you might be getting a fender and taillight LED option that will indeed be an option package where the Sport doesn't even have that as an option. Or it could just be a bug in the system because it is so early. We'll have to wait and see on that one. And now as far as things that you're not going to be able to get, it looks like the towing package is out the window that is no longer going to be an option for you. And you're also not going to be able to get a two-door Sahara. The Sahara is only going to be offered in four-door. Again, that's as things currently stand. That could change. That could be a bug. As with everything else, things are going to change around a little bit as we get closer and closer to the actual reveal. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Thanks to our friends over at JL Wrangler Forums, as always, for all of the latest and greatest information about the new JL. Now, let's get to everybody's favorite part of Jeep News, the giveaway. First and foremost, I want to congratulate Bob Mancini on his win of the last Jeep News giveaway. In this episode, we're going to be giving away a Mishimoto transmission cooler for a 2007 to 2011 JK. This is going to be great for those of you who are wheeling in those really hot climates, those hot environments, uh, maybe you have really big tires on your Jeep, you're really stressing the drivetrain. If there's one thing that can kill an automatic transmission, it is breakdown of transmission fluid, which can happen with heat. So having an auxiliary trans cooler is always a good idea. In order to enter to win that, make sure you comment below and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can comment, let us know what you think about the JL, what options you're happy about, which ones you wish it would have, or really comment on anything you want. Just make sure you comment below and also make sure you're subscribed. 
making sure you're subscribed will ensure that you're going to see the next episode of Jeep News, but also allow you to check out all of the other great Jeep content that we have, including our latest episode of Throttle Out. In that episode, we brought our $6,000 monthly sweepstakes winner into the shop, built his TJ, and then took him out on our local trails to let him wheel his Jeep for the first time with all the new parts. It was a blast for me. I know that the winner had a blast as well. And you can check out that video on the YouTube page. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment to get yourself into the giveaway, and make sure you check out next episode of Jeep News.